using the array tool in AutoCAD. Remember when you open AutoCAD begin by pressing Z for zoom followed by enter followed by A for all. Turn the grid on. You can see it's filling the screen now so we know we've zoomed to all of the workspace. And now to begin with we're going to construct a warren truss, a line drawing of a warren truss. To begin with turn snap on, then right click on object snap and settings and clear everything and then select midpoint center quadrant intersection and tangent and that should do for now okay select the line tool and pick a position on the grid the grid settings at the moment are 10 by 10 so I'm selecting a grid position 10 in the X direction and 10 in the Y direction use relative coordinates to start off the base of a triangle so using at 63 comma 0 using a rectangular coordinate press enter then we got to follow on with a polar relative coordinate so we use at 63 angle 1 2 0 120 and uh, and then use the close control to complete the triangle C and enter I'm just going to turn snap off the grid snap leave object snap turned on select the line tool and snap to the apex of the triangle and draw a line to the base we can snap to midpoint or to perpendicular and enter now we need to copy this triangle so go to the modify toolbar select the copy tool and drag a rectangle the viewing window around the triangle We've got a green infill so this will select any object that is partially within the window right click specify base point so we snap to the bottom left corner of the triangle and left click and for the second point we snap to the apex corner of the triangle snapping to intersection as you can see and left click and then enter we now are going to use the array tool so type array command line and enter and we open the array tool rectangular array is required we want to do one row by four columns select objects and we want the lower triangle only so we drag our window by starting at the left and dragging to the right and down you'll notice that we have a blue infill on the selection window with this type of selection only items wholly inside the window are selected right click we need to enter the offset distance the column offset distance we could enter 63 the length of the base of the triangle or we can click on pick column offset and snap to the bottom left corner of the triangle and then snap to the bottom right corner do a preview 
everything is OK. So we can accept that by either right clicking or pressing enter. If it was not OK, pressing escape would return us to the array box. So I've accepted that. We need to repeat the rectangular array to finish the top row. So right click, select repeat array, change the number of columns to three. All the other settings remain the same, so all we need to do is select the objects, which is the top triangle. Again, use the blue infill window, moving from left to right. Right click, click on preview. That's exactly what we want, so I right click to accept that. We now need to mirror the top row to flip it over by 180 degrees. The mirror tool is on the modify section of the ribbon. Click on mirror and select the top row of triangles only. Turn on ortho. Right click, after, because we've selected all the objects we need, specify the first point in the mirror line. So select the midpoint of the baseline of the top row. You can see we're snapping the midpoint. Left click and move your cursor either to the right or to the left and left click. We are asked if we wish to erase the source objects. The default is N for no, but we change that to Y for yes and enter. And that is the first task completed using the array tool for rectangular arrays.